Gastric bypass surgery is underway at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Dr. Anita Kirkulis is leading the surgical team. Roux-en-Y gastric bypass is the most common bariatric surgery in the United States, and it involves making the stomach smaller and bypassing much of the intestines. Laparoscopic adjustable gastric banding is also available to patients. Lisa Streb is almost 100 pounds lighter today after undergoing her gastric bypass. I feel better. I have more energy. I want to do things that I've never done before. I'm not tired. I'm not focused on food. During counseling that every patient receives before surgery, Lisa was given information on alcohol use. Alcohol was one of the things that they said could interfere or, you know, hurt my stomach. So part of what I do now is protect my stomach at all means. Dr. Wendy King from the University of Pittsburgh and co-authors conducted an observational study of almost 2,500 bariatric surgery patients from 10 U.S. hospitals. 70% underwent the Roux and Y procedure. 25% had laparoscopic adjustable gastric banding. 30 days before surgery, patients completed an alcohol use survey. Among the patients that had the Roux and Y gastric bypass procedure, 7% of them reported symptoms of alcohol use disorder prior to surgery. The study appears online first and in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. In the first postoperative year, there wasn't a significant change, but by the second postoperative year, 10.7% had reported symptoms, which was more than a 50% increase. However, researchers found patients who received gastric banding showed no increased risk in alcohol use disorder symptoms. Also, patients who reported binge eating prior to surgery did not show an increased risk for alcohol problems after surgery. It's important that all patients considering bariatric surgery be counseled on the potential for this increased risk. Lisa says she now eats better and smarter and is looking forward to enjoying her life. I want to retire with my husband and do those fun things that we had planned and be able to do those physically. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.